Good evening, I'm David LaCroix, L-A-C-R-O-I-X. I'm from Barville. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna jump all over the place about all the animals and all the other stuff, but uh, a couple of things that I touched on that lead right to what I wanna talk about. One is the number of trucks coming through. There are a ridiculous amount of trucks, and each one of them pose their own hazards, whether it just be fuel or ammonia. So I'm gonna use a couple of words, I forgot the first two words. Accountability and responsibility. I wanna know, and I, I'm begging you to make somebody responsible and accountable for the people that are gonna be impacted by this stuff. You've probably watched TV recently and seen California is burning like crazy, right? God bless them people. You know what? Could you imagine if our forest caught on fire and how big it is? I don't know if you've seen the picture, but it's pretty vast. And it's gonna burn, you know? It, it's, it's part of nature. And you stick that explosive thing in the middle of it, guess what? People have to go in there. The rest of us can run, God forbid Channel 10 isn't too busy to let us know to get the hell out. Some people are gonna find out, and they're gonna need to go in there. That's the people you asked tonight to come here and protect you from the borough people, Woo! We are going out of our mind, believe me, this drives you crazy. I've been running, playing politics, this is, this is awful. But anyway, what I'm asking you is to impose some responsibility and some accountability for a plan, just for a plan, as to when a truck tips over or there is a forest fire, what is the plan? They wanna, you know, you know, God forbid this is actually gonna go somewhere. I really don't think it's going to. I think you've seen enough information to make a legitimate decision. But God forbid it does go that far. Please, hold somebody accountable and responsible on our behalf. These are my friends, people I grew up with. The firefighters are my best friends. I've gone to my entire life. He's running in there. And you know what? I'm probably not running away either. You know, I'm, I'm fifth, gen fifth generation. My son's fifth generation as far as I know. You know, I didn't go back and do the research. I have to go ask my grandmother, maybe it's a couple or more. But you know what, I've lived here my entire life. I love this town. And this has got me to the point that I've been to run for politics. I just want to fix a damn cop. Could you please shut this down, send them on their way, and I'll just go back down to my garage and go away. Thank Thanks a lot. Thank you.